Taiwan is bursting with heaps of fun places to explore. Join me, Amber Hatfield, as I hit up travel hotspots, soak up some culture, and hunt down hidden gems. Let's go! In today's episode of Let's Go, I talk a little bit more with my guest, Amy Hong, about her experience of hiking and also some river tracing in Taiwan. River tracing and hiking are both very popular in Taiwan, with many people partaking in river tracing during the summer months and hiking during the spring and autumn months. We began by talking about some of the high mountains in Taiwan and Amy's recent experience of climbing one of these high mountains. Taiwan has quite a lot of mountains that are over 3,000 meters, so right. it's kind of like a hiker's paradise yeah. in a way. It is. Yeah. So that's why it's called Bai Yue. Supposedly mm-hmm. to be like a hundred, over a hundred mountains that is over 3,000 meters, uh-huh. like you mentioned. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is the hike in Taichung City. Okay. It's called Zhi Jia Yang. I've not heard of it. Yeah, but yeah, it's not actually super famous. But okay. according to my friends who hike a lot, that was actually a bit challenging for beginners. Okay. Because starting from the right, like beginning, it's super steep. Mm. It is actually super steep. And I remember I did because I did not get the um, the backpack because usually it's the backpack like that. It has to be really professional, and I borrowed it from my friend. So okay. it's not really a perfect backpack for my uh, in terms of my height or you know like my back. So guys, this is actually a bad example. <laughs> so make sure you get the right gear because in order to prevent the injuries or any because because you're doing that, it's no joke. You cannot put yourself in danger because when you're up there there might be no like medical like staff or mm-hmm. you cannot get any help like immediately so you have to make sure you have the right gear uh-huh. so this is really like not a good example but i'm still alive so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh we went to we it's a huge group i think we, we uh there were eight peoples and uh-huh. a lot of men did a, a couple of like five years before so that was okay. my first one day one we drove up there and we camped somewhere near that mountain so the first night was already like super cold because we we had to camp and um so i actually did not get the good rest yeah before the hike Uh i was kind of tired i did not get enough i I think i only slept like for four hours oh yeah yeah and i got super early um and like i told you it's super steep from the very beginning Uh i really I don't know. I did not know how I managed to like to survive that the first. I think the first part of that, uh, but it was it was fun because we we hiked, but we also like sometimes when we rest a bit, we we just share stories. So I think it's a good way to connect with friends as well because yeah. in the nature you do not have any signals. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I feel like when you go like hiking or like camping right. with people and stuff, you don't have phone signal. Like yeah. you have to talk to your friends <laughs> yeah you have to, you have to talk to your friends and you know like meeting fr- new friends sharing some you know interesting stories and uh-huh. also like show me some like um uh, some tips for hiking okay right? so it's actually pretty nice so you you're like just be present uh-huh yeah. with yourself with your friends and with nature yeah yeah but so the first day, um, there's another girl. She's also like the first time trying Bayer as well. Okay. And we try to reach the spot where we can camp because we plan to actually reach the summit the next day. Okay. So we will try to find somewhere to camp. But by that time, we kind of slow behind the schedule. Okay. So we at, it's it kind of sunset and it's getting dark. Mm. So originally we tried to hit there reach there before sunset so it's mm-hmm. super dark. I, I was kind of worried i wasn't like nervous or anything like that but when sunset it got super dark and we're still doing the hike i guess you had like those head yeah, torches you, ha- and all you, that you stuff, have that though, but yeah. still like it's completely pitch black pitch black and at that time you can hear like a lot of things huh? i was like oh this is real <laughs> this is something i never did before uh-huh. mm. So it's quite scary, but actually it only lasted for like 30 minutes, I think. Uh-huh. So after that, we, we made it to like, there's a, like area where people usually like uh, camped. Uh-huh. But we had to start to like put up the tent 
oh put we have the to, pet in we had this yeah we had to oh, do that's that a nightmare and then it's like in complete darkness so mm-hmm. it's super hard to do that and we have to try to like uh cook right and then uh make food so but it was quite an experience and mm-hmm. people my friends are the professional thanks to them so i got to enjoy um i think what do we have like curry i think we even made bubble milk tea oh wow so they really cooked proper stuff while camping and like yeah, they yeah, hiked with all that yeah, stuff all right. that, no so this is some easy one okay. but uh, yeah still it's quite a meal like anything there you feel like uh, super delicious because you're so hungry from yeah. the hike i mean normally yeah. if i go on a hike i'll just take like some pao mian like some kind yeah, of pao mian, pao mian, yeah. but they have rice and stuff like that so it was quite a meal uh, but I remember one of my friends, he did couple by real before. He actually has this, um, it's called Gao Shan Zhen. Do you know what it oh, is? Oh, altitude sickness. Yeah, altitude sickness. Uh-huh. It's very bad. Oh, wow. Um, so luckily, um, one of my friends, she had some like pills or something for him. Mm-hmm. So he felt better after that. But we were so worried about him actually. But he felt better the next day. Yeah, yeah. So the next morning, we try to uh, we we were trying to reach the summit uh-huh. and to see the sunrise. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Ah. It was gorgeous and was so pretty, and was like it's all worth the pain. Oh <laughs> yeah. So when we you were up there, uh, I was trying to picture that, but that that feeling is so good because mm-hmm. you know I. I came to Taipei and I've been living here for 10 years. Mm -hmm. It's a city, big city, you know, the concrete jungle. Mm -hmm. And I actually like nature. So at that moment, I was like, oh, I really appreciate it. Taiwan is so beautiful. Yeah, I I really love those kind of moments, like when you're out in the nature and you find something like super beautiful, kind of like that same feeling when you can look up at the stars and you feel like Earth is a really beautiful place and that kind of feeling. I think that's something that you really get when hiking, like when you get to the top of a mountain and you've like yeah. got that achievement and then right. the whole thing that you can Near. see is just amazing yeah it's worth this yeah. it's worth it's worth it worth it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was my very first bai yue and i haven't i haven't done the second one but i plan to i really wanted to do the uh the yushan yeah jade mountain the jade mountain the highest yeah i would also yeah. really like to do that right. maybe we, we can do it do together that, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it sounds like a great plan. Yeah. And um, one more thing I just wanted to hear about your experience of river tracing or mm-hmm. river trekking. Because uh-huh. that's also something I've not done on like an organized trip. And mm-hmm. I know that you did that recently. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. So I did it just this year, this summer uh-huh. with my friends. Um, <laughs> she done a lot of river tracing and trekking here in Taiwan. Taiwan is a really good place. Basically, in a lot of cities, not only in Hualien, but also in Pingdong, where I, where actually I'm from, mm-hmm. or in Nanto or Miaoli, there are some good spots. Yeah. So for that, I went to two, two different routes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the f- uh, we went to the Hualien. The first, the first day was an easy one. Mm-hmm. So it only took us like one and two hours to get there, but it was super fun because you know in summer in Taiwan it's like hot and yeah. humid crazy hot <laughs> crazy hot but one good thing about river tracing is like you know you walk uh when there's a good spot you can just dive in yeah and it's like like so cool and you just wash away all you know the stress from work or from study or whatever uh-huh so it was because i did not actually had any diving experience before okay so my first jump first dive was really an eye-opening experience for me. Uh-huh. Oh, you mean like diving off the rocks into the right. water? Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I I haven't done it before, so that that very first time was really quite an experience for me as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, I like it because it's like walking a bit, walking, uh-huh. and then even if you don't know how to swim, you can still do that because usually it's not super deep, right. and you will wear the life jacket, so uh-huh. you should be safe. You yeah yeah yeah. So it's quite an experience for people who, who 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 don't know how to swim. So right. it's a good like uh, so it's a good like sport or exercise. Yeah, and uh, the second day was a really difficult one, okay. and and uh, we even made it to the waterfall, but toward the end of that river tracing it uh-huh. was beautiful as well this is magnificent 
because usually you just do the hike、yeah. or experience the water. But this is something you can have this combination of like the hiking and the water sports at the same time. Yeah, exactly. So it's super, it's super fun. Usually you go with with a guide or stuff. But I went to with two very experienced friends.、Mm -hmm. So、yeah. they will actually make sure before we dive,、uh, he will make sure like okay, this is a safe spot. Yeah, yeah. This is no joke. Yeah. Or they would actually. You have to have a good judgment whether you want to do this way or that way.、Mm -hmm. um, and like you say, it's at it's you. You have to wear the special shoes for that because、mm -hmm. you have to make sure it's、uh, something that is easy for you to walk, like in the river or the、um, the stream, but also on the rock. So usually sometimes you have to walk on the rock and can't be really slippy as well. Yeah, yeah. it's very slippery.、Uh -huh. And sometimes when you have to walk across the river and it's coming really like strong,、uh -huh. you have to make sure you can be stable. Yeah. So it's fun.、Yeah. Sometimes it's like very exciting. Uh huh. Ah,、uh, and sometimes it's pretty chill. Yeah. So I like it. Yeah, like a good、yeah. mixture of like、yeah. the thrill、Excitement、and then and also、it. like the relaxed kind of like、exactly. enjoying the river and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, it sounds yeah. great. Well,、right. I would love to go on a river tracing trip with you again、yeah. next summer. Yeah. Yeah, we should do it. Sure, sure. I really think that Taiwan is a good place whether you are into like、um, hiking or water sports or even like running. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can like have it all here. Yeah, there are so many things to do. Like、exactly. every every kind of like outdoor activity, yeah, you can、yeah. you can do it in Taiwan. So、right. yeah, I think it's really worth it to、yeah. give it all a try. So that concludes my conversation with Amy Hong. I hope the episode has inspired you to try your own adventures of hiking and river tracing. And I look forward to next time when I'll be talking with a very special guest. So stick around for the surprise.